Hey guys, Travis Gillespie. We've been talking about shapes, measure, measures of angles, quadrilaterals, triangles, all of the above. Well, let's take a look at an example where you're asked to determine whether lines are parallel or perpendicular. But you probably remember that uh, with parallel lines, their slopes are equal, and perpendicular lines, the product of their slopes are equal to negative 1. Well, you're given all these points on a coordinate plane and said, hey, determine if they are parallel or perpendicular. And you could actually try to eyeball and say, oh, yeah, well, these look parallel or these look perpendicular. But the bottom line is looks can be deceiving. Let's take a look at these and uh, actually see what we find out. Uh, starting with PQ here, I'm going to start with PQ right there and say, hey, let's find out what the slope of the PQ actually is. Well, here's line PQ right here. I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, and 3. Well, I see that over here, the rise of PQ is. That might not pop up pretty well, so let's try to find a darker color. Maybe a dark color will... Nope, neither of those are working, so I'm going to try something totally different. I'm going to say, hey, PQ is... Well, it's 4 over 3. The rise over the run, 4 over 3. And then we'll look at the next one, RS, line RS here, so line RS. We're going to say, hey, well, this rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's put a 5 down. Over, well, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, 5 over 4 is not the same as uh, 4 over 3. Well, where PQ and RS actually, when you eyeball it, look to be parallel, well, in reality, they're not. Well, let's actually keep moving forward and say, hey, which ones are parallel, if any, and which ones are perpendicular? Well, let's look at line AB here. So I've got line AB here, so I'm going to say, hey, a, the rise, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the run, 1, 2, 3. So it looks like I've got 4 over 3. Hey, cool. So it looks like line AB and PQ are actually parallel. But let's keep moving forward from here. I'm going to look at line PA. So line P to actually A. So I'm going to start at A and do the rise. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like I've got 4 for the rise over the, and actually that doesn't even look like a good 4, so let's fix that. So 4 as the rise. So A, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the run, I'm going to move 1, 2, 3. But look, I'm moving in a negative direction. I'm going to move negative 3. Actually, I've got to fix something here. When I did line PA, I counted one too high. So I'm going to start at A again and say, hey, one, two, and three is actually where point P is actually at. So I'm going to say, hey, this is at point three over negative because we've already done the negative three. Well, that actually becomes negative one. So three over negative three or negative one is my slope here. And let's move over to GH. So G and H, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and 4 over negative 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I've got 4 over negative 5. And we're looking at line XY here. So okay, let's check this out. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
six, seven. I guess seven is right here. Over. Well, let them over. We don't want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it looks like I'm moving back nine spaces. So negative nine. Seven over nine. Negative nine. Well, let's actually look through these and say, hey, which ones are parallel and which ones are perpendicular? Well, if they're parallel, their slopes are equal. So let's just do a circle here. Okay, cool. These two guys are parallel. So for parallel and perpendicular, well, you can write for parallel, hey, lines P and Q. And don't forget the line symbol here. Don't forget those arrows. These dudes are parallel. So you got the line symbol up top here. And don't forget the parallel symbols. Well, line PQ is parallel to line. It looks like AB here. So I got AB. And again, do not forget the line symbol up top. So are there any lines that are perpendicular? Let's take a look here. You know that a perpendicular line, the products of their slope equal negative 1. Let's take a look here. Well, actually, look here. If you see 5 over 4 and 4 over negative 5, if I were to multiply those two together, well, the product, well, this is the reciprocal with the negative number. So, yeah, if I were to multiply, you do it here. here. 5 over 4 times 4 over negative 5. Well, hey, it's going to give me a product of negative 1. So to write that two lines are perpendicular, I'm just going to kind of box this up here. So to write that these are perpendicular, I'm going to say, hey, line, well, let's see what line it is, actually. So line rs line rs here it's got to be perpendicular to line gh so don't forget the line symbol and the perpendicular symbol change colors here don't forget is an upside down t that tells you that something's perpendicular is perpendicular to line gh So really the bottom line tip here is, oh boy, let's get that back in the case here and see if I can scroll down some. In fact, I'm just going to enlarge this here. The really the bottom line here is that if a line has a slope of A over B, then the line that is perpendicular to it has a slope of b over negative a. Or negative b over a. Cool stuff.